Hello, mate. You alright? Yeah, not too bad, mate. I'm a bit hungry, though. Do you fancy some Mexican? Mexican? We don't trust Mexicans. Oh, yeah. And we're about to tell you why. They'll shoot you. <laughs> you define terrorism? The current definition is any individual or group that uses violence to achieve a political goal. The administration believes that the drug cartels fit that definition. So, hello Jack. We just watched Sicario 2. Sicario 2, Day of the Soldado. Sol Soldado? Soldado. Sicario 2. Sicario 2. We'll call it Sicario 2. Yeah. Because I might embarrass myself. Um, yeah, I've been looking forward to this one, mate, to be honest. After watching, I'm a big fan of the first one. Um, I'm a big fan of thrillers anyway, to be fair. And the first one got my heart pounding a little bit. So this second one I was looking forward to. Uh, I'll take this review on my own then, shall I? So, Sicario 2, what, what did you think of? Enjoyable. Yep. I like it, it's not It's not a bad film. It but is much in the same vein as the first one, I thought. Yeah. It is a of, good... A lot of same. It's a good sequel. Same. It's the same. If you didn't like the first Sicario, you won't like this one. Yeah. If you did, you will. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, it is another film for Josh Brolin this year. 2018. Matt... <laughs> That's doing class. Okay, he's not, because he's he's great in this. Brilliant. He's great. He's just great. I haven't seen him in a film, and I haven't thought he isn't great. You know what I mean? Mm. Benedict Del Toro also. He's um, fantastic as well. They're the two leads that we get from the first film. Yeah. We also have Mustache Man, um, but he's just a secondary character. Mm. There are two heroes really, um, who aren't. They're more anti heroes, aren't they? The pair of them. No Emily Blunt. No Emily Blunt. Um, which, I, can't, I think this film was worse without her. And me. It needed someone else. Yeah. It needed another thread. Just going back a little bit, I remember what I was going to say. Just going back a little bit, um, we said this was a good sequel. Yeah. Very hard to do nowadays. Yes. So, you know, credit for that, you know what I mean? Because in my experience, most sequels are good. They just fall flat on their face. Acting, obviously, all I've said, two main characters are great. Yep. Everyone's great in this. Yeah, um, cool. Little girl, what's her name? Not very... Um, Isabel Summer, as, as little girl. Yeah. Right. Not very sort of... Uh, it's quite compact. Not a big cast. No, no. yeah. There is... What? You Josh, get, you get you Josh Brobin's crew. You get Josh... Are you saying that on purpose? No. Did I say it again then? Bro, Lynn? <laughs> Lynn? I don't know who Josh Brobin is. Josh Brolin. Every video, there's going to be someone at home called Josh Brobin Josh. thinking, it, why does he keep Bro talking about me? Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Okay. Um, so you've got Josh Brolin and his crew. Yes. And that's about it, to be honest. And the yeah. baddies. And, and the, the kid. And the baddies. You get, yeah, there's three... Three threads, kind of, that all intertwine, yeah. and at the end they all come together, which is the most great thrillers they uh -huh. do. Uh -huh. uh, it's the story of our team, led by Josh Brolin, who has to work once again with Benedict Del Toro, mm. who is the Sicario, yeah. uh, in order to do a mission once again on the US-Mexico border in order to kind of basically take down the Mexican cartels by starting a war. Yeah, they're basically had enough of immigrants. That's the film, yeah. And they're like, right, we've had enough. Let's do something about it. Yes, basically. Story's good. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice story. It's a bit different. I'm going to say it lacks in the final third. Mm. It doesn't really feel like there's a climax. There well, kind of is. Well, even the ending's just... A bit like a wet fart. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of subverts your expectations. Most films have your threads come together and then there's like a climax and normally in these kind of thrillers it's like a shootout or something mm -hmm. whereas this kind of just turns it on its head uh, I, and that's all I'm going to say. We'll, we'll, we'll pick that back up. You want to see this thing through? I'm going to have to get dirty. Cinematography. Yeah, different director. It's not, um, what's his name, Villeneuve, mm. who went and did uh, Blade Runner. This is Stefano Sali Salima. Salima. Uh, I don't know what else he's done. I, I didn't look it up. Uh, he does an all right job. He does all right. All right job. I think it's the same writer as the first one. And the story is written all right. The, it's very much got the same aesthetic and feeling as the first one. Yeah. Yeah, this one's like got a lot of... It's very armified. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's a few desert scenes and stuff like that. That, that sort of reminiscent of the first one. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. I mean, I didn't... I wasn't bored of looking at it. No, it looks alright. For such a bleak landscape, mm. and I would say bleak story, it's about Mexican drug cartels and how they they fight them. Uh -huh. And it's brutal. Uh, Some of these scenes are really cool. It doesn't shy away from violence. No. It puts you in. It's oh, like, God. this is realistic. Baddies are horrible, and they do bad things. And the goodies sometimes do bad things as well, which are almost as bad. And it's just like, when people get shot, you know about it. It yeah. looks real. Um, yeah, you just going back on... It's nitty-gritty. On looking real. You know, there was a few... We spoke about this. You brought, you brought it up where, you know, it's sort of very realistic in what they do. So, for instance, they like use the environment to cover. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just run out and be like shooting... Yeah, they'll they'll I think, cleverly use stuff. I think it's they've had some kind of. It looks like they've had army training. Yeah, some kind of special ops people on yeah. site because everything seems tactically mm -hmm. correct, and they um, do everything for sort of a reason. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not a stupid action film. This is a smart action film. Yeah, which is what I like. Uh, yeah, grounded in reality. Whereas these people, you think all of them actually are trained killers mm -hmm. and not actors. Uh, good. Yeah, these. Turning you loose. Hold loose. No rules this time. Adios. So, all in all, um, I don't really think there's much bad can be said about it, apart from the fact it's not as strong as the first one, but no sequel though. I've got a bit of beef with the storyline. But, that, yeah, without spoilers. But we'll get to that. Yeah. But as far as how it's looked, how the protagonist acts, and what they're sort of doing... And the, I think the story right. is good up, up there, mm. for the majority. It's, it's a, a better different. story than most action films, but I, I do I do like the visuals. There's quite a few explosions, which I like. Yeah. Because okay. some films can just absolutely messed that up completely yeah. and it just looks so plastic and fake yeah I think but, most things are, but, are real yeah even really the sound and the you know the visuals looks like yeah um, looks brutal the Sicario hum the kind of inception mm. drum um, real good yeah. real tense like real that. good use it a lot it's like their theme but good it, do, it does it does what it's need, needed to do yeah this film I will say actually this film I found very tense, a very tense one, yeah, which is what you want in a thriller. Of course you do, yeah. You have some thrills. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So, without further ado, should we, um, should we enter spoiler territory? Into spoilers. Should we delve? So yeah, the first couple of scenes, we see some terrorists. You know, we see him trying to get over from the from the Mexico over the border, mm -hmm. and it's it's pretty brutal to be honest. These first couple of scenes, because mm. they, you know, they obviously get caught and they just they sort of have no it's mercy like, or it's anything. Like suicide bombers alike, isn't it? That yeah, one well, chap blows himself up, doesn't it? And then the rest yeah. of them go in. But yeah, but even mean, the very first first one where they're all crossing over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got him blowing himself up. You got a couple of terrorists going to a shop and blowing and taking a lot of people with them. I think it's, that seems really effective because yeah, it doesn't shy away. 
I think some scenes would have because it, it kind of zooms in to the explosion and the yeah. destruction and the yeah. dead bodies and the woman crying she's like let let me out with, let a, kid. Me out with a kid and you're thinking this is going to cut away and that blows up you see it uh yeah, it Which usually like, it usually well, cuts to like an aerial shot or something. Yeah, something. It, you know it I mean? does afterwards, but you see the kid get by and smithereens. But it's a massive, it's an eye opener. Yeah, it, and and then it sets the tone. Bloody hell! That's what I mean. Yeah, you you then this, like this is what this film's okay, this films. It's hit the ground running. Yeah, um, people will die. Kids will die. This is real. Save the kid, take her back. When she's in that room, yeah. they're sort of talking for a bit, and I sort of, I was like, mm. and it picked up again when they were transporting, and then they got double crossed essentially. Yeah, well, the bloody Mexicans. But and then it sort of ramped up again then. But for me, that little bit in the middle was like, come on. Well, I quite liked it. It's talking about tactics and what they're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, I understand why they've done it, but it's for me the bit that sagged was that little bastard. No, Ooh, I didn't. That really... little shit. It's all very coincidental to me, this film. Well, I Especially said to him. you, didn't I? As soon as I saw him, I was like, he's going to... Play a massive part. He's going to run into him at mm -hmm. some point. And then when he ran into him in the car park, mm -hmm. I knew, because he lingered for so long staring yeah. at them, I was just like, he's definitely going to catch them and he's going to he's gonna cause them to be undone for some reason. Yeah. And then as soon as he started transporting the people and they got stranded, I was like, he's obviously going to... Mess them up, yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, back over. Trying to get back over, and it happened. It wasn't really any twists, really. Like I saw that coming a mile away. So for me, him, I, I prefer you not show him, like mm. not show him at school or, or missing school, and then chilling with his cousin. I prefer maybe if there was that one scene in the car park, yeah, where he spotted him, yeah, and then yeah, be yeah. like, and who's that? Yeah, who's that? And then you see him again, and, and you see like, him again when they're trying to cross. Because then I think you'd be and like, then you're like, oh my god, it was yeah. him. Yeah, you're gonna be like. Fuck, that kid's seen him already. I definitely agree with that. That would have been more tense. Because the trouble is, the way it shoots that scene, they're trying to get across. You already know he's here. Yeah. So you're like, oh, f it's going to happen. It's like, it's it's a slow burn. And it ramps up the tension, possibly, because you're like, will he, won't he? But he's mm. an arsehole. I would have if you saw him as a model of a shock yeah. than a build-up. But the whole character in itself is a bit sort of... You know, dull for me. I didn't like him at all. No, no, he, no. Was, he was. Uh, he was. He was a actor, to be fair. Was, he, yeah, but he was just a little shit, wasn't he? He was a shit. All he was was a, just a shit. His cousin was a. I didn't really care for him. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really. I wasn't really bothered about I him. I don't think we met. It, well, but like you said, I think I think if they'd have seen each other in the car park and then seen each other later, it'd have been like, oh my god. But the fact that we've already learnt his backstory, which I didn't really care about. No, because I didn't feel any sympathy for him because it's not like he was trying to be good at any point. Mm. He's just bad, bad, just bad. Speech. His cousin's like, do you want to do bad stuff? He's like, yeah. Yeah, I want to be a gangster. Yeah, I want to be a gangster. And then he's like, oh, we'll escort these people across. And he's like, treat them like sheep. And when yeah. one's getting flushed down the river, you Gotta think, is he going to be good? Is is this his compassion? He's like, nah, sod him. But there wasn't even a, there wasn't even a scene of him thinking about it. No, that's, that's my just point. just kind of leave him. That's my you know point. I mean? so, he, like so he was bad to his core. Yeah. I don't think... If it had showed him be like trying to save him, you're like, okay, maybe he's not a bad guy. Yeah, he was just yeah, like, yeah. I don't care. I'm a, I don't like him. So you want to talk about when he gets really bad? Yeah, um, because... We won't tell you the whole film, but basically... No, when they get undone and he shoots Benedict Del Toro... Yeah. Uh, for an instant, I thought there might be a switcheroo because his face is covered. His face is covered. I wasn't convinced... Like yeah. you said, because I, I hadn't seen... But, Until you but then I, thought, I was in two minds, really, because I was like, well, hang on, they've just put pants on his head and duct taped it. How And they've been escorting him. Yeah. How has he got out of it and changed it with someone else? That was my thinking. All sorts was going on to I was, I was thinking this one. I was like, well, it, it, can't, it can't be him. He can't have died. Well, yeah, I was in two minds. My one mind was like, he's like the main... He's the Sicario. Hmm? He's... 
all the nice around character. this character. Yeah, you can't kill him. But then at the same time, I was like, it's too smart to it to be a bait and switch. Yeah, sorry. Because there was no point. He's not James Bond. Yeah, he's good. But once he's got taped up and he got caught and he got knocked out, you see him fighting in the bath. We we jumped a bit then. Sorry, just to just to reiterate. No. Long story short, he gets kidnapped. Oh, very spoilers. Yeah, I know. But they're like, oh yeah, I suppose. So if you're watching this, you've probably already seen it. But um. Yeah, he gets undone. He get they get kidnapped. Yeah. He gets kidnapped and it's down to the bo- the said boy that we're just talking about to shoot him in the face. And he... Because... Now... There's a kid that's meant to shoot him before. And he just doesn't. And he doesn't. And he can't do it. And he can't, so he shoots him. This kid doesn't even hesitate. I know. Baddie. Little... little I'm going to call him Little Bugger. Little you, Little Bugger. You Little Bugger. Little Bugger. Um, but yeah, he just went straight up and... Right in the face. Now... There's some speculation about this on the internet, as we've read, because obviously he didn't die. Yeah. Now they're saying he did it on purpose. I'm not having it. But they're saying he he did it because he didn't want to kill him. No, he he wanted to kill him. He shot him. But there's people on the internet thinking he did it on purpose, isn't there? It's pure fluke that he didn't die. It's massive. It's not a plot point. It's not. It's not. It's not a plot point that Black he point. escaped. There's no conspiracy. That kid tried to kill him, mm. and he got out of it by sheer luck. I'm not sure if I actually like the fact that he survived. No, no, man. See, I'm in two minds about this, because it's like... Obviously, I didn't want him to die, because, like you yeah. say, the whole film's built around him and the first one. But it finishes up quite nicely if he does die. Yeah. Because at this point, Josh Brolin has been sent to kill him. To kill him. And the kid in order to get rid of all evidence mm-hmm. that they ever tried to do the mission. Because the whole mission's a f*** up, mm-hmm. isn't it? Um, so, Josh Brolin gets mad, he gets sad, he thinks he's dead, he doesn't have to kill him, he then saves the girl. So as far as Benedict del Toro is concerned, his little task of saving the girl at the end is completed. Yeah. And as far as Josh Brolin's concerned, his friend died, but it wasn't his fault. He didn't have to kill him. Yeah, because he was watching this. Yeah, so... Far. He was watching it shoot shot in the face. So it worked all right. Uh, but, I mean, he's fe- it, wriggling around on the floor. It's a kid. Like, I'd imagine he hasn't shot a gun before. Or at anyone. I don't know. Why don't you want to gangs Yeah, but that was like his initiation, wasn't it? Really? And he shoots... And it goes through the... How? Oh, it's just pure luck. That's what I'm saying. It's pure luck. If if he had, if he had walked up to him and put the gun to his face yeah. and pulled the trigger, you'd think, okay, he yeah. did it on purpose. Yeah. He literally... He literally went, as Benedict Dottor was moving, so it's pure luck that it glanced him and didn't kill him. And you know what I don't get? He's still got all his teeth. He missed his teeth. Well, you can miss your teeth. He might have, he might have took out the back teeth. Well, did he have his mouth wide open? I don't know. Maybe check. I don't know. But like I said before, like I said in the start of this review, I think it's a little bit too coincidental for me. Yeah. The you effects I mean? are good, though. He looks like he's been shot. And the acting's great. He looks yeah. like he's proper... Yeah, he's proper dead. He's on death yeah. door. He's about to die. But, I don't know, like Little Bugger. Little Bugger? The, the, little, bugging, the little Bugger crossover. Yeah. It's all a bit... Like a real coincident, like ending. There's no climax. There's no real ending. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I kind of like the fact that in the end, all it is is they fly in and they shoot them. Yeah, I mean, on on because on Josh, yeah, Brolin's because, part. Yeah, because it's realistic, isn't it? You've got yeah. these Americans in these helicopters and it's like with nah, proper yeah, I mean, guns. Yeah and rifles and night vision and all the gear in the world that they need and they're mad they're yeah. pissed off so if that was a real fight they would just not annihilate them mm-hmm. but th- that's the climax the climax is them just killing these Mexicans kills everyone but no one knows Frankie Dottore is still alive Frankie Dottore? who's Frankie Dottore? he's just jockey <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out 
Benicio de Toro. No one knows. Del Toro. That's what I just said. You said D. Del. I said Del. Benicio de Toro. Benicio de Toro. Benicio de Toro. His name's Alex in the film. Alexandra. Alejandro. Alejandro. Call him Chicorio guy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get this. Benicio del Toro. Yeah. I was just oh. saying Benicio. Okay. So at this point, no one knows Benicio is still alive. Because no. obviously everyone's just watched him get shot in the face. Yeah. So no one could think he could be possibly survive. Yeah. So when he pops up at the end, we obviously see him get away. But then when he pops up at, right at the end, the kid's shocked. With little bugger just walking in. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I'd well, like it if it carried it on. Even if they just stayed. Even well, if just set up for a sequel then. Yeah. That's, yeah. If, but even if they just did an extra scene of him chatting. Yeah, but. It, but then it would because the trouble is it wraps up nicely the fact that he's dead and they escaped to the deal. You know what I also like? What did you also like? The mask scene. Oh the masks were class. The masks are cool, man. Yeah, the masks are really cool. Because it's just a homemade mask that anyone could wear. Yeah, I like I like I like the costuming in this, the details, mm -hmm. the fact that they they're trying to look like Mexican drug cartels, yeah. but it's not cartoonish. It's like, oh, well, we'll just stick a normal mask. I'm pretty sure one's got like a Ghost Recon mask on, mm -hmm. or a Call of Duty Ghost yeah, mask. Yeah, or something. Ghost, yeah, Ghost, <laughs> yeah. Just anything you can buy. Yeah, just anything. Just but if, anything. even Josh Brolin, you know, walks in with his Crocs the first scene. Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? Just little things like that, I like, because it's like. They're real people. Yeah, it of makes it, it grounds it in reality. Whereas if it was like coming like army boots and like a big, you know, yeah. I'd be like, oh, how cliche. Um, I like the bit at the start when they're attacking in Somalia. The night vision is very night cool. Vision. I like that. Very it's cool. Very cool. Uh, I just like night vision scenes. I also like the interrogation bit. Oh yeah, because jo that's one point I do want to talk about. I like the fact Josh Brolin and Benedict Toro. They're bad. They're, they're they're not good dudes. I mean, they are good dudes at heart, but they, they don't really give a sh. That their moral compass is their anti hero. That really shines through in that in interrogation scene because yeah. he's got air, all the information on this guy. Yeah. Family he, brings up like a screen, old blow him up. And yeah. even he's like, you're bluffing. Yeah, and he, he kills it, he blows the house he's up. He's green. Yeah. Done. Blows it up, blows his house up, kills his brother. And, but there's nothing, like, this is how good an actor he is. Yeah. Like, there's just no break in his face. Do you know, he's like. It's just cold, do you know what I mean? Which yeah, I really, really like. You're gonna help us start a war with who? Everyone. What's this book? So Jack, Sicario, do. Do. Worth a watch or not? Yeah, I'd say worth a watch. But if you had the choice between one or two, I'd go watch the first one. Yeah, I'd say, yes, worth a watch. If you haven't seen number one, go watch that first. If you like it, watch this one. Mm. Mm. I mean, I mean, you would, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't miss work for it. Let's put it that way. No, it's a, it's a good film. It's a good film. It's a good film. It's a good thriller. First it's one. a good military, dark, brutal thriller. Mm -hmm. mm. That's smart. Yes. How often do you get that? Not very. Not very. I'll tell you what you do get often though. What? Reviews and average thoughts. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell, so you know exactly when a new review comes out. You can watch them all here. You can watch all the game reviews here, and you can watch all the game plays here. Make sure you follow us. I thought on Twitter, have your thoughts, on Instagram. Sick. Sick.